I reminisce for a spell, or shall I say think back? Yeah. 22 years ago to keep it on track. Uh -huh. The birth of a child on the 8th of October. Like a toast, that. when my granddaddy came sober. Count yeah. all the fingers and the toes, now I suppose you're... Alright, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Andre, Andre, Reva, Reva, hurry, hurry. Chef Dean's doing live to the field. Check me out today. We're gonna go back to the style, though. Something you thought I was in, too. But I got to show the world I'm capable of anything. God said you put your mind to it, then you can just do it. I got some corn to tea or shell. We're gonna do a little rose. Mary, the red peppers, long stem banana peppers, Mexican peppers. We're gonna be peppered out today, so y'all might as well get ready for it, because that's my specialty. Add a little green onions and mushrooms, a little bit. Then we're gonna have a little pepperoni scene on top of that. Marinated with some pasta sauce and the main ingredient white fish on corn, tortilla, crunchy shells. Can you believe it? You best believe it. Chef King Louis Live is in the building. So go knock on your neighbor's door and his neighbor's door and tell me if you missed the last show, you don't want to miss this one. Mexican style, baby. Yeah, I just want to give y'all a closer look of this very scrumptious dish. Uh, that white fish. We're going to pepper y'all out today. Chef King Louis Live about to get busy. No more delay. Let's get to it. You know, growing up where I'm from, from a very small town called Tilton, Georgia, I never thought I would have an opportunity to be on camera and show you good people my true skills. First, I'm going to show you what I've learned along the way as I cut up my Mexican pepper. See, Tilton, Georgia is a very small town. You know, I actually started out just doing music, but cooking is my love, and that's my heart. That's what I like to do. So what I'm going to display today is my true Mexican skills that I, you know what I'm saying, I learned along the way, looking and learning, meeting different cultures and people. Chef King Lou alive, coming at you with the Mexican peppers. We're gonna, what we're gonna do right now is cut them in a beautiful shape. Put them to the side, and I'll show you why I'm doing what I'm doing. Go ahead and dispose of that. Next pepper will be a red pepper. Really one of my favorites. A couple slices. What we're gonna need to make the dish all beautiful, and like I always say, scrumptious. So we're gonna take our red peppers, and after we cut them up, we're gonna wash them. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the cut and display so I can move right along. I like to deal with the, the green onions. Love it. Dispose of that. Green onions are so beautiful. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and dice them up. I hope you can get a good view of that in the building, but today, I'm going Mexicano. So tell all your Latino friends, like I'm gonna tell all my Latino friends. What's up, Carlos? Holla at your boy. You know what to do. Number ain't change. Attitude change. Business mind state doesn't change. Back to the menu. So what we're gonna do now, go ahead and chop up our green onions. I don't want them too small. Push them to the side. Lord, I love to meet some rosemary. Just take the rosemary, go ahead and break it off. The stem, I'm gonna just go ahead and do a whole stem. I tell you what, just do a whole stem of that rosemary. Boy, it smells so good. I wish y'all was in the kitchen with me. Chef King Lou and Live is about to get real busy in a few minutes. So we're gonna take a couple of those rosemary stems, and hold on to the rest of them. The next ingredient, my long stem banana pepper. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I say about, that'll be good enough. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead, I wanna dice up just a little bit more for the flavor. Cause ain't nothing like that flavor. When you're doing a beautiful Mexican dish. I don't really have a name for this dish right now, but whatever I call it, just understand one thing. I tell you in every video, cause it's not have a name, that means you name it good. Chef King Lewis Live. We're gonna also add a couple of dry mushrooms. I'm gonna do them sliced up like that. 
And I'm gonna do my special pepper, Mexican style. And this sucker here is hot. Hello, bro. And I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, uh, Mexico, call me up and tell me how to spell it. Or to say it. Chef King Lou Live coming at you one more time. Since it's so spicy, I'm going to use just a little bit of that because I can smell it right now. The spice is on. So you're looking at it. Pepper style, little rosemary, sliced mushrooms, station identification. I got to go take care of a little business to get the next episode. See, the rosemary set everything off. I just pulled it off the stems. I'm going to go ahead and get a little chop chop on it. I had said earlier I wasn't going to chop it too fine, but I think you need to go ahead and chop it. Because I was thinking about the circumstances that happen when you don't get all that flavor. And people tell me, you know, I can taste some stems. You can't taste no stems. Only reason you know what stems are because I showed you. Chef King Louis lied, don't bite his tongue and don't bite yours. So the rosemary getting chopped up. Meantime, twin time. I'm gonna tell you one thing. To my hometown people in Tip County, Georgia, that support me on Facebook, to the people that I know in the ATL, understand one thing. Whatever I go and whatever I do, I do it for you. I gotta feed the world, no guest list needed. Chef King Lou Live coming at you. Look for me on Food Network. And I know they listening to me. I'm out. All right, I already done washed my peppers and my mushrooms, etc., etc. Get ready to go ahead and lay them in the grease, get this thing started. Just can't do a lie, don't get busy on y'all. Everything gonna be moving along rather quickly, so keep your eye on me. So I might slip one past you. And this is my day, and I can do what I do. You got the peppers right now doing what they do. As we speak, we're gonna add a little butter on the side of the dish. But that butter do help these uh, peppers and mushrooms soften up a little bit with the other ingredients that come with it. We'll increase the temperature to about number eight on electric stove. If you got a gas stove, well, you do what you do when you see the fire. Chef King do a live out the beat on fire. All right, looking pretty good. I'm going to show you the results when it's all said and done. But like I always tell you, I ain't gonna sit here and babysit the dish. But before I go, I always gotta leave you with a little sub sub. As I say in all my videos. And that is that rice wine vinegar on my peppers. So what it does, the reason I use it so much is it softens up the gives it that. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. If you don't understand that, that means it get a little sour, something that you want to eat on. Chef King Lou Live coming right back at you. Pepper style, mushroom style, Mexicano. Andre, Andre, Reva, Reva. I love y'all. Right back at you. Calls for the situation. Calls. All right, when you go to your local grocery store, I got another ingredient that I like to add to it. It's called Worcestershire sauce. Goes on shrimp. All types of vegetables and such. I'm gonna put a couple of drops in it because it's real concentrated. But I just feel that two more drops won't hurt that. Next, I got to go ahead and break them pebbles down with this red wine vinegar real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, got some white fish on the cutting board, getting ready to season up a little bit. Gonna take a little brown black pepper. Yeah, I said about a little half a tablespoon. What I have right here, a little garlic seasoning, mixed with a little oregano. Yeah, that's what I do. Go ahead, flip it over. Make it look real, real, real fishy. And when some fish here, y'all wonder, well, now what he gonna do next? It's gonna be hard to tell today. So tell your neighbors, just be patient. He will impress you. All right, what I'm doing right here, I got a little zesty seasoning right here. I call it zesty because it puts some little flakes on it. Got a little ginger in it. A little something, something, something else in it that uh, I'll reveal when I feel like revealing it. Chef King Lou Live coming at you. And uh, 
most of all, I would never ever forget to make this uh, white fish look so beautiful. It's gonna take a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. Mm. Put it on it. Base it up a little bit. What I like to do is take a little brush, brush it on in. And it's gonna be so good. And once I put it on the flat top grill, it's gonna be so ready to go. All we're gonna do is just brine it for a couple minutes. Add the rest of the add to it. Feed your good people, Chef King Lou Alive. Station identification. You know how we do it, cause this is how we do it. Okay, as we got our pepper and sizzling, you can probably hear in the background. Go ahead and lay this fish on you. Get some white fish, already seasoned. Check me out. So we're gonna get this party started. That's what I'm talking about. That sizzling sound just do something to you. Jump King Lou Alive, put about three pieces in the pan. You know, like God said, he took one piece of bread and fed the world. I'm gonna take three pieces of fish and feed all y'all. Chef King do it live, what's gonna do? Go ahead and let that fish brown on one side, white fish, and do what it do. And while it's doing what it do, I'm gonna show you the in-between time segments of it. Like I always tell you, I can't sit there and babysit you all day. Chef King Lou Live coming right back at you. White fish seasoned pepper style. Okay, I just cooked the fish. So check me out next. While I brown on one side, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little soy sauce to it. I'll just say, you know, just be a little generous with it. So I like to show it some hello, hello. That's what I like to do. Chef King Lou Live about to show y'all something to make your appetites go crazy. Make your YouTube sites go crazy, make your Facebook sites go crazy, and most of all, what I want the most, I'm trying to make Food Network crazy. Chef King Lou Alive, Google me, like I always tell you, because I am everywhere. See, I got a little smoker technique that's on top of the grill stove pan that I like to use, but you know what? Back in the day, I couldn't afford things, so what I did, I utilized what I had. So what I'm getting ready to do right now, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, Mixed with some of the fish broth that came out the fish to the dish. Watch this right here. I'm gonna show you a little something. something. Watch this right here. Wee! I know y'all saying y'all said where that boy come up with that from. Guess what? I said to myself, cause I'm Chef King Lou Alive. Do it on the spot, and I'm gonna show you the smoking technique. See how the steam comes up from the fish? I put a little ghetto lid on top of it. I wasn't good in math, so I got my squares and my circles mixed up. But guess what I got didn't get mixed up? That boy can cook. Chef King do it live. Watch the results because I hid it from you. Station identification will be right back with you with the white fish. Okay, before I end this fish segment, I'm going to give you an up and close look. And then we're going to have a moment of silence. Mexican dish, peppers, white fish on a crunchy Tortilla shell. Get ready for it. Chef King Lou Live about to amaze you. But before I amaze you, I'm finna confuse you with the last ingredient of the day. A little rosemary. Ah, come back at me, Chef King Lou Live. Now I know I got the taste for all confused. Live out show out and show off. The next stop, you put those peppers, mushrooms, and more peppers. Chef King Lou Live with a little cheese to paint. Right. 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 I'll be right back with you on the next video. But in the meantime, between time, enjoy. Google me. I said I am everywhere.